Hi YouTube, this is Autumn Beckman. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I just got this Sarah compact wallet from Louis Vuitton. I ordered it from Yugi's Closet. I still have the tag attached because I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep it. I got it thinking it was a little bit smaller than it is. So what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to decide. I'm going to see what fits in it and the different uses that I need it for. And I'm also going to put it in the smaller handbags that I wanted a smaller wallet for to see if it fits along with my other stuff. And since I'm doing that, I'm going to show you in case you want some information about this wallet and are curious about it because I'm not sure that there are any videos on it. It's not something you see very often. Measurements for this wallet. This wallet is just under six inches across. It is four inches high. It's one inch deep across the top. That's the widest part of it. And I think it's helpful to know the inside of the gussets here from corner to corner so you know what would fit in that the big open sections. So that's just under four inches wide. These are all the cards that I have that I carry with me. Some are like grocery store cards. Some are for different stores. Some are rewards cards. You buy so many of this, they stamp it, you know, or punch it. Some are bank cards, some are IDs, some are um, insurance cards, some are work cards. There are all kinds of different cards, lots of cards, and I need a place for the ones that I don't carry in my big Sarah wallet. I need another small wallet to carry those little cards in. And then I also need a small wallet for when I have a small bag and I need to downsize my big Sarah wallet. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, instead of having you wait while I pack stuff up, I'm just going to pack stuff, show it to you, pack something else, show it to you. Okay, here we go. So I was able to get all of the cards in here. It's packed pretty full, but I just wanted to show you the capacity of it. So there you go. I was able to slip three cards in the slots in the back, three in the front, one in this front pocket, and let me show you. Um, this pocket doesn't go all the way down to the bottom, it only goes to the top of the button there. So like if I turned this that way, that's as far down as it goes. So it's the perfect size to put a little card in there. And then the wallet is wide enough that you could put a stack of cards in here and they don't, the gussets don't get in the way, so you could still flip through those cards. So all of that fit in there. Now I don't actually have to carry that much in there, I just wanted to show you how it all does fit and you can still get it closed. I have cash in that back pocket. I have nothing in the zipped compartment, but you could still get some coins in there. And I have to kind of press on the top to get that to close, but it does close. It's not that difficult to get closed. I don't think that would damage it having that much in there. So that holds quite a bit. That's a really big capacity, but it's also a really fat wallet right now. So. I know that I can hold what I need to in there because it holds way more than I need. Now I took all those big cards out and I just have the six cards in the slots. I have one card up front and I have cash in the back pocket. So if I wanted to use this as a compact wallet in a small bag, that's probably how I would pack it. And then I'm not sure what I'd put in the gusseted areas. Um, maybe, I don't know, something I need. Uh, maybe keys or something would fit in there. I don't know. You'd use your imagination with what you would put in there. So now I'm going to show you this wallet in a few bags. The one that I was really thinking about getting it for is my smallest bag, which is the Eva Clutch. I know the height will fit because it's the same height. Let me show you here. It's the same height as its big sister, the Sarah Wallet. And I know that this whole Sarah Wallet fits in the Eva but I want to see how much space I have left over on the sides because with the the big Sarah wallet it takes up pretty much most of the wallet so with this Sarah compact wallet I still have that extra space on the side what I need to fit in there are my glasses those won't fit standing up but I can lay them down I would put a pen in there I know that'll fit my phone and what else would I need to carry? Some keys, I don't have those in front of me, but keys would definitely fit down there. So that's helpful. Um, that would be better than having the giant Sarah wallet. Oh, this, this would hold keys, so I could fit the clay in there pretty comfortably and still be able to 
zip it up. Now with the clay standing, that makes it a little difficult. Okay, so what I have now is the Cero, the compact Cero wallet. I have my phone and a clay behind it, and then I'll put my glasses on top of the clay and phone, and then I think I can get her zipped up. Maybe. Ugh, it's really tight. It's very tight, and it's pretty bulky in the back there. My glasses are kind of sticking out on this side. The zipper's not too wonky though, so I could make it work, but I think this is where I still need to get a little Chanel wallet. That'll be my excuse to buy that. This is my Chanel inspired bag from San Mario. I'll link this below. Let's see how it fits in there. As I understand it, this bag is about the size of a medium flap Chanel and this is how it fits. So it takes up a little more than half of the length here, and then there's still room for other things. So that fits pretty well. I wonder if I could stand it up. I could stand it up too, so that would work much better, and that gives me a lot of extra room. Here's my Hermes Kelly inspired bag by Anafield. This is a 28 centimeter. Let's see how it fits in there. So here's how it fits in the 28 centimeter. There is plenty of room in there still. Here's my Hermes Birkin inspired bag by Anafield. This is a 25 centimeter. This bag is a lot bigger than it looks. The capacity anyway is a lot bigger than it looks. So there's plenty of room, no problem. This is my Chanel inspired clear bag by Lamb Gallery. I'll link this below also. There it is, plenty of room. And as a little bit of a size comparison, I wanted to show you this little wallet against a couple of the Vuitton SLGs that I have. So here is the mini pochette and here is the Sarah Compact wallet. They are pretty much the same size. The wallet seems to be a little higher I cannot get it in there because the top of the mini pochette is too skinny, um, but that gives you a little bit of an idea of how big this wallet is. Same thing with the toiletries 15. They are pretty much the same size. I would not be able to fit that in there because they are too close. This wallet is also the same size as an Agenda PM from Vuitton. Pretty much exactly the same size. What is it with this size? Everything is this size. And the pochette accessoire, um, if you don't know, this is the Steven Sprouse graffiti model. And this wallet would fit in here easily with all that room to spare. This is a very, this bag has a lot of capacity, so that's why a lot of people are using them as handbags. If you're wondering about the capacity of the inside of this wallet, and you happen to have a Vuitton clay, canvas clay, I just put that inside here. Now it's a little bulky right now because I have keys in, so I wouldn't be able to get it closed, but that gives you a little bit of an idea of the size of the inside of those gusseted sections of the wallet. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching my what fits and what it fits in video about the compact Sarah wallet. And if you like the video, please click the like button, click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already, hit the bell notification icon so that you are notified when I post a new video. And if you're on Instagram, you can follow me there. I'm Autumn Beckman there too. Thanks so much and you have a fantastic evening. Bye.